Hey guys, another right there here. Welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a click to open door. And um, so basically how it works is you click on the door uh, and it's going to swing open and you can go through. And then you're going to click on it again and it's going to shut uh, the door. So you can open it, close it, open it, and close it, just like that. Um, so it's basically just a opening and closing door. And it animates as you can see. It's cool I think and it's really useful for all sorts of games. So if you're excited, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Join the group in the Discord. We're so close to 200 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. Um, I built this wall at the end so you can see it opening and closing better. Um, and you can see if I delete the wall, it still works. Still works perfectly fine. Um, but, um... Yeah, uh, I'm gonna start, stop wasting your time now, and um, let's get right into the video. See ya. All right, guys, I am in my base right here, as you can see. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually create our door, of course. So we can just insert a part, and uh, just turn it to a simple door. Uh, change the material of it to wood in the color brown, and I'll just scale it up um, a little bit smaller. There you go, there's our door. Um, it's a pretty big door, but it's a door, and that's what we're gonna use for now. And um, uh, we can go ahead and name this part um, to, uh, to closed door. All right, and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, make sure it's anchored. All right, and you're gonna go ahead and duplicate it. All right, and then you can go rotate it like that and move it. You're gonna set it to the open position of the door. So when the door is open, it's going to be like this. So it's gonna change from this position to the open position, which will be like this. So it's gonna swing open over here, I guess. And you're gonna wanna set the, you can go ahead and rename this one to open door. And you can set the transparency of it to uh, one and can collide to false and also cast shadow to false so there's no shadow and you can go through it so now what we can also do is we can duplicate the closed door and rename it to closed door position or closed door pause and you're going to scale it just barely smaller um than the door itself you want it to be smaller oops um uh, just a little bit barely smaller than the door itself because you want it to be smaller just a little bit and this is the position of the closed door also for the script um because uh when it opens this door is going to move to this position and uh we need this to be here to tell it to go back so you're gonna make it just a little bit uh smaller than the door just like i said on all sides um and you can also make it transparent and can collide uh false as well as cast shadow false uh, for the closed door position all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all of these and make them into a group with Control and g or you can right click it and uh, click group so i'm gonna create it into a group you can go ahead and rename this to door if you want um so a model i mean not a group um we have our door model right here with all the parts in it and now we can go ahead and start scripting so on the closed door we can add in a click detector which was gonna be how we click the door of course in the click detector we can add a script and we can add in a bool value as well you can see that uh, in the click detector we have a script and a bool value you can rename this one to door handler if you want you really don't need a name i usually don't name it but just so you know where it is um, it doesn't matter and we can also go ahead and name this value to open value so what it means is it's going to be checked if it's open and unchecked if it isn't open and that's how the uh, door is going to know if it's open or closed which is also important for the script so in the script here we can go ahead and create some variables you can delete the print hello world and uh, we're going to create a variable for the door model so local door model will be equal to script dot parent dot parent um dot parent oops i don't know okay dot parent that 
and then we can also uh, create a variable for the closed door. The local closed door is going to be equal to door model um, door model dot closed door oops dot closed door like that. And we can create a variable for the open door now. The local open door would be equal to the door model uh, door model. Why does it keep going closed door? Door model dot uh, open door. And we can also create a variable for the closed door position. So local close door pause is equal to door model um, dot close door pause like that. And we can create another variable uh, for the open value. So local um, open value is equal to uh, script uh, dot parent dot open value, just like that. All right, so now we're gonna create another variable for tween service and the animating service for the door opening and closing. The local tween service, um, that, that add a capital S so you can tell the words, um, is equal to game point get service tween service, just like that. So uh, now we're gonna create our first uh, function, our only function actually. Uh, so it's gonna say, script dot parent dot mouse click for and connect function just like that um and we're gonna to check if the door is open or not so we're gonna do if open value um dot value is equal equal to false then um what we're gonna do is um we're gonna go ahead and open the door if it's not open we're gonna do local info and be equal to tween info dot new. And we can create um, our tween info. So right now we're gonna add in a one a comma. This doesn't need to be a one. You're just gonna uh, insert how many seconds you want it to take for your door to open. So if you wanna take three seconds and have an extremely slow opening door, you set the three. You can do one, you do half a second, do a hundred second opening door that will take forever. Um, so you can uh, choose any number that you want and that will be how long it takes to open the door. But I'm gonna do one, uh, cause that's just what I want. Then we're gonna do comma, enum dot easing style uh, dot bounce, or you can do line linear. And line here, I don't know how to pronounce it really. Um, so uh, I'll show you both of them, but I'll do bounce for now. Um, and then you're gonna do comma enum uh, dot using direction uh, direction, and then dot out comma zero comma false comma zero like that. So now we're gonna create a variable for the tween, so local tween would be equal to tween service colon create. And we're gonna do close door, comma info, uh, comma, and then we can do pointy brackets. Uh, C frame is going to be equal to uh, close door position, I mean not closed door position, uh, open door, um, dot C frame, just like that, uh, C frame, and down here, we can go ahead and say tween, um, colon play, to start the tween, um, and now we can go ahead and test it, and as you can see, if I click on the door, it's going to swing open, and as you can see, it bounced when it opened, and if you don't want it to bounce like it just did, instead of saying easing style dot bounce, you can say easing easing style dot linear and linear. I still don't know how to pronounce that. Um, and when you click it, it will just go straight without bouncing. So you can do whatever you want, but I personally just like bounce. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we need the way to close the door again. And now this is what we're gonna do. So. Uh, also, we could, so down here we can also add in await one. And we're gonna set 
open door, uh, open value, dot value is going to be equal to true, like that. All right, so now I can add in the else. So if it's equal to true when you click it, um, then we got a new close again. So what we can do actually is we can just copy all of these lines right here, so control and C, and paste it with control and V. So you can see it's exactly identical. Actually, we don't even need this line. Just go ahead and delete that, actually, because uh, you don't need that right now. There you go. Um, so now what we can do is uh, local info stay the same, but local tween, um, you're just gonna change where it says C frame equals open door dot C frame to close door position dot C frame, just like that. And now, and on the bottom, we can also change the open value that value that's going to be equal to false because it's going to be closed again. And that's it. But if we were to test it, I could click it. It's going to swing open and click it. It's going to swing shut. And I could do it over and over again, just like that. And it will continue to open and close. Um, one thing is, uh, you can, if you don't like the balance, you can always change it to linear, a linear. Uh, but on the way uh, to close it, I like to set to uh, linear, linear um, because it doesn't make sense to close the door and for it to bounce, in my opinion. So I like to have a bounce open, but straight close. And I'm going to go ahead and make a wall for you to see this better. Alright, so now we have a little wall here, you can see it better. So you click it, it opens, and you click it, and it closes again. So, yeah, that's, um, anyways guys, that's it for this tutorial video. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Be sure to join our Discord and our group, um, and leave your suggestions or video ideas in the comments. And if you have any questions about the tutorial, join their Discord and create a ticket. Um, and I'll be sure to get to you as soon as I can. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We're so close to 200 subscribers. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!